Dear brothers and sisters of the LGBTQ community, this is my New Year message to you. Several things. First, let me say that I understand and salute the courage and strength that it takes to be different in this world. Very many of you have exhibited extraordinary courage. Second, if you look into my past long ago, I was one of the first, one of the pioneers who strongly advocated for civil unions. Long ago, designed to deliver many of the rights of property, access, succession to same-sex couples. Third, what I do in my bedroom is between me and my partner or partners and my God. What happens in that private place is no one else's business. And I believe that every American should have that right and that privilege of privacy. It's your business, but it doesn't belong in public streets, public schools, or public libraries. Fourth, human history has consistently shown that we, who are different, my difference is being born black in the Jim Crow South, we who are different can best survive and thrive when we moderate. For example, black folk in the 1960s, our approach, our in-your-face approach, really did not open the American doors of success. Our greatest successes have come through gentle assimilation into America's mainstream. Today, you are fighting a similar battle for acceptance. A battle for peace and success in America. I respectfully suggest that the most extreme representations of your community and your interests are not being successful. Trying to force biological boys into girls' bathrooms trying to force biological men into women's sports. Those have backfired and will increasingly backfire onto the interests of your community. <clears throat> Pushing drag queen presentations and sexual education of any kind into children's classrooms and children's libraries has not worked. And it will not work. That is backfiring on the interests of your community. Trying to force artists to create cakes or any other extreme product has backfired in courts and in public opinion. That technique has backfired terribly. I could go off, but that's not necessary. In today's America and in the America of tomorrow, extremism in sexuality will increasingly become illegal and ostracized. I urge you to think about this. I urge you to consider these words. You can be all you want to be without forcing the most extreme elements of your community onto the American people. What you do in your bedroom is your business, not mine nor anyone else's. And what I do in my bedroom is my business, not yours. Let's keep it that way. <laughs>